Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. Last time uh, we finished the boss battle, Spike's Arena, to get to the third world in the game, Evening Lake. We got everything in Evening Lake. Uh, then we came back here because uh, the special Sparks level, Spider Town, unlocked. Uh, you may have skipped that because it's full of spiders and I am encouraging you to skip it if you have arachnophobia. It wasn't great. Um... But yeah, that's done now. Uh, the other thing we can do is go to Bamboo Terrace because we got the, our new Yeti friend from the next world, whose name I've already forgotten. Um, we should be able to 100% this world, this level as well, using uh, the yeah, you, using the the new character. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, uh, probably gonna take a little while to load because this game takes a long time to load whenever you go anywhere or do anything. It's a little bit obnoxious as a treat. Okay, here we are. Bamboo Terrace. Uh, this is the one with the nerdy pandas. So much for opening the emergency bridge, Spyro. You're welcome, Ling Ling. Uh, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we just have to go find. I think it's this direction. Ow. Nope, not that one. There was an area that we needed access to the new character to enter, I believe. We will hopefully be able to get to it now. Here it is. Oh. Oh, right, right, right. Um... We do have access to him, but we haven't gone into his level yet, so he's not technically unlocked, I think. Alright, well, let's go to Evening Lake and play his level then. <laughs> uh, I haven't played as him yet, I'm curious to see how he controls. Uh, but yeah, he's like a yeti guy with a big club, and the joke is he's really um, intellectual and uses really big words for everything. It's... I like him. Uh, I... Also, he, he beat up money bags, and it's like... It's just the perfect way to introduce a new character. Because money bags is dreadful. <laughs> okay. So here we are back in Evening Lake. Uh, we need to basically find an opening on this tower in the middle. I think it's just here. Yeah. So that we can get inside, like so. And go to Bentley's outpost. This guy's name is Bentley. Okay. That answers that. <laughs> And that'll unlock Bentley as a playable character, and then we can bring him back to Bamboo Terrace and finish that level. I believe. Off we go. I will gladly help you on your quest, Sparrow, but first I must attend to my young sibling. I'm afraid he may have gotten himself into trouble during my absence. Okay, I can smash stuff with the A button. Bam. I can jump, but only like a little bit. It'd be really cool if you smash that boulder. A swift smack should do the trick. Okay. Oh, I can actually... Uh, what am I doing there? Like, twirl it around or something? Again, that's look like normal. Okay, you move very slowly, but you can just sort of smash everything, which is nice. You want to talk again? big um, I'm gonna get him. Don't worry. Okay. 
Oh, and those uh, chests, Bentley can just smash them open. I was wondering how you got those open. I think maybe I used a rocket or something in previous levels. Because you don't have access to Bentley. You can only play as them and play as playable characters in certain areas. They're not like uh, Spyro's abilities that you can use wherever. If you use your spin move to deflect the snowball into the gong, I bet we can make the roof cave in. Snowball. Oh, the one you're throwing at me. I see. Hey, Brian. She moved a little faster. This guy's very slow. It is kind of fun just smashing everything. So, gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Do you need to aim sort of the correct direction or it doesn't work? Interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go this way. Can my spin actually block enemy attacks or is it. Is it, like, just for deflecting little snowballs and stuff? I was trying to, you know, repel that guy with a spin, but it doesn't seem to affect him at all. I assume these guys, yeah, the gems stay collected, so I need to do it again. Ow. I don't love the camera for this character either. Not not ideal. I would like something for Sparks to eat if there's any uh, friends around that would be happy to be eaten. I don't think I can get up there. Even though the platform's there. Hmm. I had to hit the gong again and then there'll be more snow. Can I hit the gong again from over here? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, my jump is just pathetic. Um. Oh. I hate these guys. Alright. Another shot. Come here. There we go. Oh, there's some little critters. Come here, little critters. Looks to be you, little critter. I think I've only seen one. Can I respawn, or is that just all I get? Just the one hit point? As a treat? Hello. Oh no, there it is, it's respawned. Cool. 
but going back there is very slow. So it's not ideal. Okay, you can kill guys with spins. Fine. It just is weird. Yeah, the camera for this character is uh, not great. Okay, now I can get across there because we've got a ledge to walk on. Anyone to smash this thing? Doesn't look like it. Can I push it? Yeah, I can push it sideways. Okay. Goodbye. Hey, Charlie. Oh, wow. Love your dance moves, Charlie. odd that Sparks comes along when other characters are playing and protects them instead of protecting fire. Like, it would make sense, I think, to give them their own health system instead of having a little dragonfly fly around and protect them. I guess that's just not what the game, what the game designers went with, so... It's okay, I guess. Hello. We doing for treasure here pretty well. There's quite a lot of treasure here. Like the norm is 400, so having 600 treasure all in one level is quite a lot. I'm not sure if this level's longer if it just has more treasure in it. there because my jump is pitiful and from there I can just hop up onto these crates and make my way over here. Uh, put on more treasure. Don't forget to break these for more treasure. Okay. You just pull out your smartphone. Oh my god. <laughs> Here's a little something for your rock collection. Uh that that's a dragon egg, that's not a rock. Hmm. Oh. Well, I guess we're done here. Let's uh head back to midday and see if we can uh, finish off that area, the previous one. I mean, I haven't done any speedways, but apart from that, <laughs> speedways don't count. Okay, so Bentley should now be available to us if we head back to the previous levels. Which is good because we need Bentley, from what I can gather. Let's do a quick little warp over to Bamboo Terrace. Travel, which will take a little while. I think that being able to fast travel to any level like this, I think that's a remake thing.
honestly, it's, it's kind of necessary because the loading times are worse in this game than they were in the originals. So <laughs> you want to be able to skip as many of them as possible. I know at least you couldn't do that in Spyro 1. I don't know about Spyro 2 and 3 because, again, those games I didn't play nearly as much. Or at all in the case of Spyro 3, so I don't know if the game originally had fast travel. Okay. So we know where we're going, we go this way. Keep going this way. Keep going this way. And that gives us this little void we can go into to play as Bentley again. Uh, a fine day for a bit of a walk. I was just heading to the top of my favourite hill. He's using a lot fewer big words than he did in his first scene. Hey, oh, you're here? I saw some Rhinox run up to the top of that hill with an egg. Okay. I, I, I could just go there, like, without being told, because I said I was doing that anyway. Again, this guy's slow. Uh... Like, it makes sense for him to be slow, but it also means he's slow. Uh, how are you doing? Doing alright. I was hoping to repel it and, like, hit him with it instead. That would have been cool. But it looks like you can't do that because it's big. But the snowballs were big too. I'm not really sure which things you can use the deflection attack on. It's not very clear. By the way, if you don't time your attacks correctly, that happened. You get, you get hurt. a little more range on my attacks so I don't get hurt so much. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm dead now. Thankfully I have to do less this time because all my treasure stays collected, but eh, it's still a hassle. Reigniting. Ooh. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, all the treasure state collected. All I'm gonna do is just... I guess I can just ignore some of the enemies because I already got the gems out of them. That's nice. I'm not clear on the timing for that. There's a bit of a shockwave on my attack, but I don't know how big it is. Also, I don't know what to do about those TNT barrels. If I smash them, I take damage. Because they're TNT barrels. Maybe I can deflect those with my spin? It's not very clear whether I can or not, is the thing. Okay, did that. I can't actually jump up there, because my jump is atrocious. I do have to go this way. Ow. I can see an extra life over there, which is mostly interesting because that also heals me to full. Am 
I deflect these? I can! Okay. Oh, I've learned a thing. treasure. Also, here's the egg. Brubeck. Hey, Brubeck. I guess you were just born. Uh, bye. 100% level complete. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, next time we're gonna go back to Evening Lake and actually go to some of the levels, like the Spyro play as levels in that world. <laughs> Uh, but for now, that's all I got, so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, uh, <sighs> kind of wish Bentley you continued to use lots of very sesquipedalian loquacio loquacious words, that would have been very funny, but he kind of didn't, just sort of started talking normally, which is a bit sad. I'm just going to the world so it'll be in the right place when the game loads back up. Also, I may as well help out Sparks. Here you go, Sparks. There you go. Alright. Alrighty. Uh, cool. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!